Welcome, everyone. It's Vapor Dracomar. It is time for what is probably what is my last game of the night, probably most likely. <sighs> yes, yes. We're going to be playing some Heimerdinger in Aram. released. Do something with that. All right. Oh, you want me to tell you further about my story? Well, yes. It does technically been again 27 years ago, but my video game story begins a little bit sooner than that. So it started when Windows XP was released. I started with uh, Boomstick and Bush Shootout and slowly progress to console games and then from there I started my first ever major console game which was Twilight Princess and I didn't get and then like way what felt like way late in my existence in 2008 League of Legends was released and at first when I saw League of Legends, I thought of it as kind of a joke. So I didn't play the game until the year 2016, where I started picking up friends in this game. Now, surprisingly, um,. It accelerated relatively quickly after that because I'm very consistent in terms of effort investment. I'm still not good at Heimerdinger, but I it doesn't it's not going to stop me from trying. Um, by the time I picked this game up, I had already defeated 
a bunch of different things. Like, I had already beaten several incarnations of Ganon and played most of the Zelda series. I had already played a lot of Elder Scrolls. I had moved on to a lot of different things by the time I... I that was when I picked up this game. Now, at first, I really sucked at this game, but that is... um kind of how it always is. But I kept trying to improve, and eventually, I managed to get significant steam on a number of champions. But the one that I'm most known for, and the one that I'm the most terrifying, is uh, Vagar. Um, I do have a lot of friends in this game, but it wasn't always so. It was a pretty slow burn. I didn't get a lot of friends until Season 7, when I did Ranked for the first time. So that's when the steam really began to pick up. Especially after the, um... Oh, wow. I gotta kill him, that guy. I try my very hardest to not tilt in this game. And I have picked up Raid Shadow Legends very recently to um, escape the troubles that I get in League. And so far, it's actually been going relatively well. I even defeated Clan Boss today. I think I did a total of 12 million to it. 12 million damage. I think. I'm only two months in. So, there will come a time where I become a lot more powerful. And I will be able to, like, one-key it. I'm not there yet, but... Try him to get him into my turrets. Get that burn on him. Trying to get that. I mean, I, I knew a friend of mine, like, not a friend of mine, uh, my cousin, Simon Mains Heimerdinger, so I'm trying to remember what he told me to do. Because um, I don't main Heimer. I main Vagar and Annie, and I play a lot of that, and I play Aram. Vagar, Annie, and Aram. More, more Aram than Agar and Annie, but when I do play Summoner's Rift, it's usually Vagar and Annie. Uh, Riven is an interesting character. Um... There is one friend of mine, I forgot what his name was. His name is, um, he's also a Trindomir main, I can't exactly remember, but there's someone who's really good at Riven that can really 
tell you more about Riven than I ever would be able to. Oh, Jade something. Jade. I don't remember his exact name. I think Jade Fist. I have to look back at it. He He's the one who knows Riven better than I could ever tell you. Because Riven, I only know some stuff about that champion. I'm not... In order to truly be good at Riven, you have to know everything about the character, which I, I don't. I mean, there's a, there's a great deal of science in this game. Science that I've yet to completely uh, get the hypothesis. Oh, yeah. If you are wondering, my grandfather was a scientist. Um, actually, a relatively famous scientist. Um, he did uh, revolutionary computer science work. And was the uh, pioneer of um, the transistor, from memory. He's dead now, but I try to follow in what he was doing. I tried to do some damage to them there. Let's see. Can I get my demonic? Yep, I can get demonic. I can get demonic. That will be three item spike. Go, Fiora, go. You want to feed, Fiora? And there we go. They tried to use the bush tactic. It didn't work. Go attack them with that. This is not bad. This is higher quality than my usual matches. Usually I have, um, you know, a uh, couple of uh, intentional feeders, a few AFKs, and uh, I'm usually playing worse. So the fact that that's not happening means it's better than usual. I nearly screwed that up really badly. Right, staying away from that. I'm gonna go try to set up a combo.
Get a flank. Ooh, I got my my turret in there. There we go. Relatively elementary, honestly. Kind of hard to believe the Aphelios is platinum, I'm going to be honest. Okay, so... Let me go for that. This pike is actually very good. Got him with the turret. I mean, get him with that and get the fifty gold. Ah, pretty decent turret Heimer game. Must say, was not expecting it to go that slick. 